Hello and welcome to a new episode of Airport CEO, where we are still fully engulfed in our construction project that is called Terminal 2. Now, the very first thing I want to do in today's episode is actually reworking some of the parts that we already have constructed, mainly our remote stands. Basically, I want to change the way they're facing. So firstly, we need to remove them. The reason I want to do this is simply to relieve congestion on the inner taxiway that is going along the terminal, because then we already have 10 stands and there's a lot of aircraft that will go in and out of there. Uh, and as we can't really tell the aircraft where they should go we cannot have to try to plan ahead so if we switch these uh, stands around we get them on the outer taxiway and that will help us out now the main focus however on today's episode will be working on our luggage system and hopefully to create a really nice luggage retrieval area that the airport can be proud of calling its own so for this luggage system, we will also have to um, work on multiple layers or multiple, um, what would you call them? Yeah, levels, basically. Um, we will go down into the lower levels of the game, level minus one and minus two. And um, uh, we will have, well, at least we create for minus one um, accessibility. I don't think any workers would ever have to go down there, but I guess in real life, it would be something that would have to be accessible for workers. So we will at least add some stairs so that workers could access it in case they needed to. Um, you can already see the baggage scanners, which we added uh, last episode, I believe, um, and they will be just before, they, uh, before the luggage arrives at the baggage base. Now, outside they are almost done removing the stands, which means we can now add the new ones that are then switched around. Um, and again, this is simply to um, remove some of the traffic on the inner taxiway which um, yeah, hopefully will help us out with uh, traffic, aircraft traffic at the taxiway system we have here over at the Terminal 2. Now, what we of course also need to work on with the uh, luggage system is we need to connect everything up. Um, we still have a little bit of issues um, with one of the belts because basically the connection goes down into where we have um, our boarding desk for the remote stands. But I think um, I will be able to work it out. Um, we probably have to go one level even further down um, with that part. But um, yeah, that should all be fine. So while this is going on, it's of course an opportunity to just sit down and talk with you guys. And um, yeah, just have a little chat about what's going on on the channel at the moment. As always, I'm quite busy with uh, projects. Um, of course, recording uh, reviews is always an ongoing task. Today, when I am recording this episode, um, it's Friday and this video will go out on a Sunday. Um, today, I just recorded a, a new episode of my collection, a project or a series that I have neglected for far too long. Um, now, I think it's eight or even nine months ago since the last episode, which is crazy. Um, because again, I, I mentioned it last uh, in the last last episode or the, the episode before that that it kind of felt like I had done an episode like yesterday, and, and now it's already eight or nine months ago. But I recorded a new episode on that, so um, yeah, as soon as I've been able, or as soon as I will be able to edit that, it will go out. Um, I'm also kind of preparing right now because I'm having another trip. Um, ahead of me basically Sunday evening so when you the first time you are able to watch this video um, I will be on a plane um, this time I will be going to Munich um, and I might take or well I will take another uh, one day um, to go to Austria e either Innsbruck or Salzburg I'm not quite sure yet um, but yeah, so I also have to plan ahead for these kind of things when I'm not home to make sure that I have the videos ready um, to go out even though I'm not home. <laughs> yeah, so um, 
that is basically it. So um, what I'm doing here right now is of course um, connecting up the luggage system with the baggage base. I just need one line for the entire system here because then we need uh, to use these um, tilt trays. They are really neat um, because you can program them and tell the system or the, the luggage um, well, you don't really tell the luggage. You tell the tilt tray what to do with the luggage coming in, uh, going to left or right, destination and so on. So that's really nice. That way you can, well, save a lot of, um, or simplify your system basically. So that's uh, that's really neat. So that's for the um, outbound luggage. The inbound uh, luggage will go straight down underneath uh, to a level of minus one. And there we then will then there we will then, English is always difficult. <laughs> uh, well, there we will then connect it up um, and bring it over to what will become our luggage retrieval area. Um, I actually am also right now working on a really, really big project, um, which takes up a lot of my time, um, which is something I haven't told anyone would be a lie, but pretty much no one knows about this project so far. It is top secret. I won't tell too much about it, but I feel like I want to I want to treat people that watch these episodes and give them some hints and, and stuff that I'm working on every now and then. Uh, things that I haven't mentioned anywhere else, neither in any other videos on my channel or on Instagram. So um, yeah, you guys are really getting something special here, but I'm working on a really, really big project right now. Um, which does involve model aircraft um, but that's all I'm prepared to say right now and um, yeah I'm I'm in the middle of um, well no I don't want to say too much but uh, I hope I hope this will be uh, well received and um, it hopefully will come out in in well pretty much one month two months around that time um, but uh, I can't say exactly when it yet because I'm still in production. So um, yeah, but uh, I'm really excited for that. And I hope, I really hope that it will be well received because uh, I've spent a lot of time on that. But uh, now that I have teased you with uh, something and not really telling you anything about it, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I hope that you, you can forgive me about that. But um, uh, yeah, I've been working on this for actually most of this year um, and uh, this is the first time that I mention it on any of my channels so uh, yeah it, it feels nice to start talking about it but again I, I really don't want to say too much because I really want it to be a surprise um, it is all related to basically that um, on the 29th of October this channel this YouTube channel will have its fifth anniversary uh, it will be five years since I created this channel, which is uh, <laughs> quite strange to think about that yeah, time has passed really fast. Um, but basically, um, yeah, when we a little bit earlier this year reached the milestone of 2000 subscribers, um, I hadn't made any video for that. And I said at that time that I was preparing something for a later stage. Uh, or later time in the year and that's basically it that's basically the reason why I didn't have anything for any special things for the 2000 uh, subscriber milestone um, that was because I wanted to work towards um, having something special for the fifth anniversary of the channel I thought that was I don't know if it was more important or nicer but I felt that was um, worth working towards uh, working towards and and spent a considerable amount of time working towards that instead of rushing something out for 2000 subscribers um, uh, for the milestone there. So yeah, but that's all I want to say about that for now. Um, let's focus on the gameplay again, um, where we are uh, working on the luggage retrieval area. Um, so basically we have four um, baggage bays and therefore we will also have four baggage retrieval rooms basically. Um, well, you have to make these four sections, one section for each. Again, we only have one line going in and then we split that line up with the tilt trace. So that's um, that really helps us out. Um, I really like the system or I like to make these package uh, retrieval uh, base, base, no, uh, retrieval areas where you basically have um, 
like uh, parallel lines of uh, conveyor belts and again we will have like one conveyor belt go in and then we will split it up with um, the tilt trays and then in this case we will tell the tilt tray once it's been constructed that it just has to um, uh, make an interval uh, going left right left right left right with each bag and then they go each uh, to each of the sides um, I guess um, in real life you wouldn't have to do that but again I just like that you have like these um, more varied areas in the uh, luggage retrieval area because I think it looks nice it, it looks more realistic um, and uh, yeah uh, so that's basically what I'm planning to do here now we do also have some spare room in uh, the luggage retrieval area and I want to use that uh, for something useful firstly I want to have a shop because uh, what you often see is that basically just when you leave uh, the the security area and then enter the area where you can retrieve your luggage you often and uh, well, at least in many airports these days you kind of have to pass through a shop or there is a shop in the baggage retrieval area so i want to have that as well um i guess it makes sense you will have a lot of people walking through there so they can't avoid going past the shop at least and be tempted of course we shouldn't forget also which i'm working on right now to have um a staff room um we really want to make sure that we have staff rooms everywhere um to make sure that our workers never have to walk too far um to get to a staff room and from there back to their working stations and of course we will also have a bathroom because people will have arrived from um, the aircraft from their flight and um if they haven't managed to go to the bathroom before they left the security area then they can do it here while waiting for their luggage so again um, as uh, we started off um, with other bathrooms in the uh, airport terminal 2 we will make these again split up in genders male and female there are no other options in the game at the moment no more genders than two um, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> we uh, will split them up and that's just because uh, normally I always make unisex toilets because I'm only speaking, I, I don't, don't really mind, um, but um, because we never have really made an airport where we actually have um, a gender assigned toilets, we will make it here um, just to have something, a little, little bit of a new element. Um, to the airport and we also have plenty of space so we we do actually have space for adding more toilets and more staff rooms all over the airport so one thing that i of course have completely forgotten in this episode and i already know that i have also forgotten it in the next episode because i've already recorded the next episode is um hiring staff and it's not because we technically need staff right now but of course when we will open this airport we will need a ton of people and um, i really need to try to remember that while i'm constructing this i just need to every now and then um, go over to the tap and just hire whoever is applying for jobs at the moment because we will need so many people to get this airport running smoothly and um, yeah if i do it after construction i will have to sit for hours at the game and just leave it running and just constantly hiring people and that's boring so yeah that's really something i need to remember uh while playing this game anyway um we are also right now trying to shine up this place a little bit make it look nice have some places where people can sit and rest some plans and all that stuff information screens and really to make this baggage retrieval area the best baggage retrieval area we can possibly make so um, yeah hopefully that will work out um, I will also kind of make a um, kind of a work path system through the shop of course uh, people in this game will completely ignore that uh, so that is um, only for our own um, visual pleasure <laughs> if you can say it like that um, but yeah um, basically if you go through these shops at airports there's normally kind of a path marked on the floor um, and uh, we will do the same here even though um, in the game the people try I think they will always take the shortest possible route so they would just um, plow through the shop uh, regardless of our efforts now with um, 
adding the last things here in the shop we are actually getting to the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed this video then please feel free to smash the like button that really helps us out uh, i can't emphasize this enough um, it really does help us out if you know around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome and you won't miss out on any future videos here on the channel also not with our new top secret project and with that i'd like to say thank you so much for watching hope to see you soon again I'm checking out and bye.